Welcome to Dust and Misery. Today to speak about about what? Uh, it's a good question. Today we've been talking a lot about. Actually, we've been talking for the last year, more than a year. I th how how long has this been going on since the first revelations of the two Pauls started? This goes. But do you remember? Long time ago, but especially the last two years because I remember we have a few conversations where we talked about different verses and we call them the uh, dangerous verses that can be taken out of context and they can support bad doctrine but then it continued to be the next one and another one and we started to see the face of the Antichrist basically what we see as the Christian religion Christianity. Now, again, this is a hard topic because uh, I come from a Protestant background and I know a lot of people, actually not a lot of people, but I know people who I know love Yeshua, they love Jesus. You know, it's hard to talk about these things because uh, it creates a division, but these are things that need to be talked about. I think, you know, people who are living day by day, uh, walking with, with Yeshua, And what does that mean in obedience, right? And, and, but it's very hard to, to walk daily when you are believing what I call the Christian package. You got sold, you know, package A, package B, package C. Some packages are be baptized, your kid is going to be fine. It's in a package for, you know, the, the kids. Uh, there's another package that says, okay, just sinner's prayer, go to a Bible-believing church, get in there, study the Word, and, you know, repent, of course, sinner's prayer, and you repeat that prayer. A lot of times they make it for you, just read this, and you're saved. I've seen that on TV over and over. We have many, 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 many books and, and television programs about Jesus, and... It didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. And years later, you know, that would come full circle where I would start to understand things that even today, it doesn't end. It's, it's like peeling an onion, a good friend, Carrie, had told me once. It's like the, you keep finding more and more. And that's kind of what happened. We found well, more you because you're so deep into the word. And also your background, you come from Judaism. You know, I, I, I don't know that background. I know what they taught me as a Christian, you know, not as being brought up in the Torah and, and the way and the traditions and the celebrations. And, you know, we just know that we're supposed to support Israel. That's it. If we do that, we're going to be blessed. That's what they teach us. Most people, not everybody. Again, there's so many versions out there that it's, we're making a generalization, but at the end, we're going to dissect to see Which aspects of these packages, like saved, always saved, Jesus lives in your heart, okay? Um, you know, and, and further about being sanctified or we're already sanctified. You know, the Son of God. You no, know, Jesus is the Son of God. There's a lot of themes that when you take package A, package B, and you start to mix them, we can see the face of a hierarchy system created in all these letters, starting with Acts. We get out of the Gospels, we get into Acts, Hos, and we begin to see the face of a superhero called Paul. Yes, yes. But speaking about the packages, in the truth there is only one package, the package of Yeshua. Of course, in Christianity, they have a lot of packages. And the package of God, of it comes from God, it's very simple. Justification, sanctification, sanctification, daily, and redemption at the end. Daily. And, you know, we see that in some things that Paul said when he says, work your salvation out day, every day. That's the good Paul. That's the good Paul. But the problem is there are two Pauls. One real and one fake. Right. And that's what we're going to work on to, to demonstrate in this book. And I think uh, in these conversations to try to help dissect a little bit of the confusion and the hurt. Because I know a lot of people have been hurt by going to church. 
just let me put one example, one verse from the folk, fake Paul. In 1 Corinthians 6, verse 11, the fake Paul said these words. You already received justification and sanctification. You already received it. That's very, very dangerous because it's true that we receive justification because justification we receive in the moment when we uh, repent, we confess the sin, and we receive Yeshua as a God. I mean, as a Father, as the same of, of the Father. And that is what some of you were, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Right. So we have already been. So it's a package. And it goes well with other, other forms like saved, always saved. You know, one time. And just with the sinner's prayer, it's done. But it's not true that we already been sanctified. We receive justification. And about sanctification, this is every day till the end. Just the, the being justified is 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 the legal side to the That's thing. Why Christians believe that they are saints, most of them. I mean, if they are, yeah, for sure, for sure, we are the saints, the Church of the Saints. Well, so this is uh, where we are today. Um, so this is where we continue with conversations. Uh, the idea today is really the theme of justified and sanctified already, or are we being and to start to discover um, verses that will paint the face of two different doctrines. They're not working together, and we'll test them against what Yeshua himself said in the gospel. I think just the main problem in the fake poll is uh, about Nicolaismo, maybe hierarchies, yeah. The system of, of, of levels and hierarchies and one above the other. And we see that those churches Came, came from the letters when he was establishing the churches and implanting a system that he said God gave to him to do. And it's going to go on and on. This is just the beginning. So we're excited to, to do this. And I think it's uh, important to, to discuss and to question a little bit of what we're seeing because the fruits of what we see, Christianity in general, I don't see, I don't see something that's unified at all. No, no. Christianity is the most divided religion in the world. I mean, Islam has two, two main divisions. Judaism have maybe two or three. If we speak about Christianity, we are speaking about more than a thousand divisions. <laughs> a lot, yeah. No, more than a thousand. So uh, the problem to read this verse that we expose, 1 Corinthians 6, 11, Literally, without revelation, it's very dangerous because the people start to think that they are saints. And then those saints start to see the anger, the lust, the insanity inside, and they don't understand what's happened. It's hard to imagine that somebody who's already been saved would accept that they still have the sin inside and that they still have to deal with a satanic spirit that's trying to war against the spirit God is trying to give every day. You lower your guard, you're going down. But again, it's so comforting and it's easier just to repeat and go before a pastor and go back to a church and hear the words by the authority of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. And, and yeah, an offering, of course, an offering an offering to go along with it. Yeah, but Yeshua, God, doesn't want uh, tithes and offers. He wants us. us yeah, we are. Obedience, the simple obedience. And the problem also is because Christians believe, most of them, that Yeshua take out the sin. Uh, this according with one, uh, John 1, 29. Yeshua doesn't take out the sin. Yeshua won over the sin and forgive the sin. That's completely different. Yeah. There's the just side of us, and we receive the Holy Spirit, the mind of Christ. And now we are the daily sacrifice because the other Paul, Paul too, stopped the daily sacrifice. Yes, yes, the fake Paul made a lot of damage, but with the 
help with, from that. We're gonna finish this work. It's gonna take a few months, if that wants. But uh, for the moment, yes, go out from uh, Christianity and don't call anyone pastor, bishop, deacon, because this this is not from God. And if you want to to know, just go to Matthew 23, verse 8 to 12. Dust and misery.